Researchers, geologists have found that Earth's core has been leaking for billions of years. A recent article, July 14, 2019, Universal Science by the Conversation. Earth core and inner workings. This is by Hanika Rizzo, Carleton University, David Humphrey, Queensland University, that's of course in Australia, and Denis Andreau, Université clermont Auvergne in France. Earth's magnetic field protects and makes our planet habitable by stopping harmful high energy particles from space, including from our sun. The source of this magnetic field is the core at the center of our planet. And uh, something, of course, now is happening to our magnetic field. It seems to have been decreasing. It's about 25 decreased since 2015, according to space weather. That's not good, meaning that uh, more cosmic rays are allowed to come in, and that's not good for life on Earth. Now, this here, the core, is very difficult to study, partly because it starts at a depth of about 2,900 kilometers, making it too deep to sample and directly investigate. Yet we are part of a research team that found a way to get information about Earth's core with details published recently in Geochemical Perspective Letters. And they said, it's hot down there. The core is the hottest part of our planet and the outer core reaches temperatures of more than 5,000 degrees Celsius. It has to affect the overlying mantle and it is estimated that about 50% of volcanic heat comes from the core. The layers of the Earth, we see in the diagrams here from the outer crust to the inner crust. The volcanic activity in the planet's main cooling mechanism. Certain uh, volcanism, such as that which is still forming volcanic islands, for example, Hawaii and Iceland, might be linked to the core by mantle plumes that transfer heat from the core to Earth's surface. And uh, one of the videos just uh, today, recently, uh, is concerning what they found under Yellowstone supervolcano mantle plume. There's a mantle plume under there feeding the magma reservoir, which feeds in turn the magma chamber. So there's a huge mantle plume that comes there directly from the core of the Earth. It's under Yellowstone. So, yet whether there is any exchange of physical material between the core and the mantle has been a subject of debate for decades. Our findings suggest some core material does transfer into the base of these mantle plumes and the core has been leaking itself this material for the past two and a half billion years. We discovered this by looking at very small variations in the ratio of isotopes of the element tungsten. That's an isotope. Isotopes are basically versions of the same element that just contain different numbers of neutrons. To study the Earth's core, we need to search for chemical traces of core material in volcanic rocks derived from the deep mantle. We know the core has a very distinct chemistry, dominated by iron and nickel together with elements such as tungsten, platinum, and gold that dissolve in iron-nickel alloy. Therefore, the metal alloy-loving elements are a good choice to investigate for traces of the core. The search for tungsten isotopes. Tungsten has the chemical symbol W. As the base element has 74 protons, tungsten has several isotopes including 182 W with 108 neutrons, 184 W with 110 neutrons. These isotopes of tungsten have potentially to be the most conclusive traces of core material because the metal the mantle is expected to have much higher 182W to 184W ratios in the core. This is because of another element, hafnium, HF for short, hafnium, which does not dissolve in iron-nickel alloy and is enriched in the mantle and had a now extinct isotope 182HF that decayed to 182W, tungsten that is. This gives the mantle extra 182W relative to the tungsten in the core. But the analysis required to detect variations of tungsten isotopes is incredibly challenging 
as we are looking at variations in the 182W to 184W ratios in parts per million and the concentration of tungsten in rocks is as low as tens of parts per billion. Fewer than five laboratories in the world can do this type of analysis. Evidence of a leak. Our study shows a substantial change in the 182W to 184W ratio of the mantle over Earth's lifetime. Earth's older rocks have significantly higher 182W to 184W than most rocks of modern day Earth. And the change is in the 182W, 184W ratio of the mantle indicates that tungsten from the core has been leaking into the mantle for a long time. Interestingly, in Earth's oldest volcanoes, volcanic rocks over the time frame of 100, uh, no, 1.8 billion years, there's no significant change in the mantle's tungsten isotopes. This indicates that from 4.3 billion to 2.7 billion years ago, little or no material from the core was transferred into the upper mantle. But in the subsequent 2.5 billion years, the tungsten isotope composition of mantle has significantly changed. We infer that a change in, in plate tectonics towards the end of the Archean Eon from about 2.6 billion years ago triggered large enough convecting currents in the mantle to change the tungsten isotopes of all modern rocks. Now why the leak? If mantle plumes are ascending from the core mantle boundary to the surface, it follows that material from Earth's surface must also descend into the deep mantle. Subduction is a term used for rocks from Earth's surface descending into the mantle, it takes oxygen-rich material from the surface into the deep mantle as an integral comp component of plate tectonics. Experiments show that increase in oxygen concentration at the core mantle boundary could cause tungsten to separate out of the core and into the mantle. Alternatively, inner core solidification could also increase the oxygen concentration of our outer core. In this case, our new results could tell us something about the evolution of the core, including the origin of Earth's magnetic field. Earth's core started as entirely liquid metal and has begun cooling and partially solidifying over time. The magmatic field is generated by the spin of the inner solid core. The time of the inner core crystallization is one of the most difficult questions to answer in Earth and planetary sciences. Our study as a tracer that can be used to investigate core model, mantle interaction and the change in the, inter, in low, uh, the internal dynamics of our planet and which can boost our understanding of how and when the magnetic field was turned on. This is from the, the source, is the conversation, and it's on Universal Science, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.